So, hello, family and friends and everybody. Um, today I just want to show you a quick, simple test, and I'm going to test for chlorine. And uh, the benefit of having a filter and uh, not drinking tap water and not showering in tap water, I just want to share with you that I'm just going to test for one chemical, that's chlorine. So, uh, they have to put chlorine in the water to kill the bacteria, and bacteria is what? Living, little living organisms that get into our body and make us sick. So, a lot of people shower in tap water and drink tap water, not realizing that we are also comprised of billions of little living organisms, ourselves. So when we drink or shower in the tap water, it's actually damaging our body. So, I'm just going to test for chlorine. It's real simple. Let me show you here how we do that. And, um, get some cold water. And I'm going to test for, show you uh, four different tests on how we do this. So, I got my swimming pool kit here. Got one cup of tap water. So I just got those two cups of tap water out of my sink. And I got the uh, swimming pool. And this is uh, OTO, orthotolidine. That tests for the level of chlorine in tap water. We're going to do eight drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll do 11, 12. Okay. So, we stir this up, and we see here how much chlorine is in that water. And we're able to tell that because we'll put the chlorine pool test kit right next to it, and you'll see here that this tap water has more chlorine than what's allowed in a swimming pool. So right here we have swimming pool level, and see this chlorine? We're up to five. So you're showering and drinking this tap water. I hope you're not drinking it, but uh, when you shower in it, um, that is also very toxic. So let me show you. Here's cup number two I just filled up with uh, tap water. And uh, I'm going to stick my finger in this. And this is the only time I'm doing this, so that's why I have it on video. Because I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm doing this for you. So I'm going to leave my hand in there. And also next we're going to also test... I'll wait till after we're done here. So I'm going to leave my water, my hand in the water for 30 more seconds. Turn on my handy dandy timer here. So we got uh, 24 seconds to go. Oh shoot, what else? Timer, you need to get a new timer. <laughs> my camera person's trying not to laugh at me. Okay, 10 seconds ago, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, okay, so now I'm going to take my hand out of the tap water and I'm going to test for the amount of chlorine that we have in the tap water after I've stuck my hand in it. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you can see there is significantly less chlorine in this cup than in this cup. You might ask, where did the chlorine go? Well, it's in my body now. So that's test number one. Let's get another glass of tap water. This is test number two, and I'm only going to do this for you guys. One time. Same cup of tap water. And I'm going to show you how fast it absorbs into your mouth. So if you brush your teeth and you rinse with tap water, this is what you're doing. Yes, I know it's a little gross, very gross, but I'm showing you 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I put 20 drops of OTO into this water that I just spit out of my mouth. And so you can see, hand in the water, water in my mouth, number two, or number two right here. That's how fast 
This water was in my mouth for 10 seconds and there's no more chlorine. All the chlorine is in my body. I can't believe I just did this. I'm in the middle of a cleanse. I'm here to help you guys out. So here's the third test. We take some more tap water. I've never done this with broccoli. I usually would use like a lemon or an orange. Let's see, I hope this works. I'm gonna drop the broccoli in there. I don't know if that little broccoli will soak up all that. So I'll leave the broccoli in there for a little bit. I'm just gonna to talk to you um, about why it's so important here. You'll see here I have a pre-filter, a fluoride filter, and the government just came out and said, oops, there's a little bit too much fluoride in the water. So, you know, fluoride is a toxic product made from fertilizer. You can research that more on your own. Uh, look at YouTube videos or go to the library and look it up in some books. And here is a third part of my filter before it goes through this filter here. So, it's very important to get that fluoride out uh, of your water because it's not helping you any. It's hurting you. Actually, there's a, uh, just, I'll let that go. So, do your research. Find out why fluoride is not good for the body. And so... I'm only saying it's important to take the chlorine out of the water. It's sort of like taking the chips out of the bag before you eat it. Like, you can't eat the chips without taking them out of the bag. So, you shouldn't drink the water before you take the chlorine out of it. Does that make sense? You want me to try to eat chips in the bag? Do you? Do you? These chips aren't good through the bag. Come on, people. Okay. So, hopefully this is enough time to... Uh, let the chlorine soak into your vegetables. And this just shows like if you're washing your fruits and vegetables with tap water, you are filling them with toxic chemicals. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So that is after letting your water your vegetables has now contains all the chlorine and that's just one of the chemicals. I'll put a link to what a doctor, one of the smartest doctors I've ever heard about did a study about the water and uh, I'll put that on, uh, you, uh, a link to that so you can see that. And this is the final test here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take hot water and we're going to show. And this shows that when you shower, your skin is your largest organ. So all that water is hitting your body all over the place. It's soaking it up like you saw here. But with hot water, there's more of another uh, issue. The water's hot. What does that do? That makes the chlorine evaporate into the air. Uh, uh, people in the hospital in certain conditions aren't allowed to take showers because they said the chemicals in their water evaporate and they breathe them in and it'll make them more toxic. So here we go. I'm going to get some hot water. You see a little bit of steam on the cup. And we're going to test the hot water. So when you're taking a shower, you have hot water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'll do eleven, twelve. So here we got hot water, number one, cold water with my hand in it, and just straight up cold water. So you can see there's much less chlorine in the hot water than in the regular cold water. So when you're showering, you're just locked in the room, breathing in all that chlorine. That's why it's very important to have a shower filter. I'll put a link up to one of the best filters I found out there that have uh, harmonics in the uh, filter and filters it out so you can have a, a nice uh, clean shower. I haven't showered in tap water in 15 years. I've only been sick one time. And I think that's a big point. All right, thanks for joining me, and uh, have a great day. God bless.